and this is going to discuss about the challenges we face in our lives. Do not be afraid of the challenges because it is the challenges that bring, make us strong. If the challenges also are the ones that are, especially when we are depending on God, when we are living in God, and when God has promised us something, He will always create the power of opposition. Sometimes when the power of opposition comes, they come, it can, it can be that the devil will rise against us, but sometimes it can also be that it is God himself who sends the power of opposition. Because it's, this power of opposition is what is going to make us discover how strong we are, how powerful we are. Because when God has placed power inside of you, how do you think you will know that you have that power? It is through the power of opposition. When you, the greater the opposition, it means that the power that is how it makes us strong again. It, that means that this is the power that is inside of us. When we are getting afraid, when we are afraid, we lose faith. This is how we can also destroy the this power that is in us. It's giving you the story of when Jesus was was walking on the water, and when Peter saw him, um, Peter said that I also want to come, and Jesus told him, "Come." And because Peter, because Jesus had already placed the power in Peter, and he told him, "Come, jump," and Peter, yeah jump into the water and he started he found himself really walking on the water and uh, but when he was walking and it's though they are starting to come the waves and these waves started to make and the pillar when he started to look at the waves he started to get afraid and the fear that is what made him to fall uh, to start to to start to sink. So, in order to, so if the 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 faith, the fear is what can destroy your destiny. The strong, the faith is what you can strengthen your your the strength that is inside of you. When we face our problems with 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 strength with faith instead of fear this is how we overcome and is a power of opposition this is a power that is is a reflection of how much power that is inside of us you know the time when jesus was healing people he was only telling people rise and stand up he can tell someone who is paralyzed stand up he told it for someone a man who was paralyzed Stand up and carry your mattress right now. So it was two things that this bad guy who was sleeping on the mattress and he was half dead, I can say. He was paralyzed, totally paralyzed and half dead. But then he had to do things. First, he has to stand up. And secondly, he had to carry his own mattress over. On, Think about that. And uh, Jesus knew that this guy is paralyzed, but still he told him to do that because he knew that he has already placed the power was enough to make him complete that task. So this is always about that. So when Jesus is telling you, I will, I can. I am with you. Believe no matter whatever that comes in front of you. And the way that Jesus can tell you that I have given you the power is by letting the power of opposition come in front of you. Is by placing a giant in front of you. So when you face that giant and you will discover that with faith, you will discover that it's very easy. You know, King David 
we could not be speaking about his story today. But King David discovered he were, his power through when the giant was in front of him. And if King David could not have the courage to face that giant, perhaps he could be that fear, fearful uh, man that we don't know today. But because it because because he was he faced that giant and he knew that his strength was so much and he he exercised and he learned that he can face anything we say that king david in his kingdom he was always no no nation was able to defeat his army and he was fearless. He said, when God is with me, who can be against me? Who can be against me? So this is all about because he was able, because he knew his God has brought him through what the God has brought him through. And he came to the point that he was totally fearless. And yes, no nation was able to defeat him. And don't think that to be to have God, you will not, you will not, you will not face challenges. Don't don't think that to have God, people will not rise against you. Not be, think that when God is, but God has promised that, but He has promised that I will be with you. This is the promise that God has given you. So this is what you should expect that people will always sometimes rise against you. But always God will be there to protect you. As he has said. So be fearless when you face challenges. But you remember to trust God. Remember to put yourself in his arms. Remember to put your trust on him alone. Because this is what will give you will give you more power. And because we know that to trust other gods, this is abomination to God. Trusting him alone that he is able and trusting his promises that he can do. This is all you should focus on. Focus on him and let him focus on you. Focus in him and he will focus on your battles. When God is for you, who can be against you? Remember this. And when God has promised that you shall reach this point, you shall reach this destiny, you shall reach it. No matter how. Even if you have one foot, you will reach with one foot. People will say that, ah, he has only one foot and he is, will fall tomorrow. Maybe he will fall when he come to, no, but they will see that you are still walking until you reach your destiny. Amen. This is all, this is the power of faith. You don't know how strong you are unless being strong is your only alternative. And it is always when God is placing a giant inside of you because he wants you to discover the strength that is inside of you. Because this is when, when you strike, when you, you are facing this giant, when you finish that, then you will know that, wow, I am this strong. And I can face anything else. So believe me. Believe me that you, the power that is inside of you is greater than the power that is against you. Believe that the one who is, inside, who is for you is greater than the ones who are out against you. 
And this is my topic today. I believe that you will bring someone in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for this someone that may God bless and strengthen them and give them the courage to face the giants wherever they face in your name and learn to trust only on you and not to trust on anything else but only you so that they may reach to a good thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.